Hi there, Timberwolves. Mr. Pizzullo here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial to help you get logged into Quaver Music at home if you're having problems. Um, before we get started, let me just say I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's healthy. Um, what we're going through right now is unprecedented. I've never seen anything like this in my 20 years of teaching. Um, I know it's challenging. I know it could be, it's going to be hard, but we're going to get through it, and we'll get through it together. So let's dive in. Let's get into Quaver Music. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to post something maybe every day or every other day uh, just to sort of help get through Quaver World. I'll also be throwing some tutorials at you, um, maybe, some, uh, maybe some recorder stuff for the third graders. We could look on some high C's and uh, for the fourth graders, uh, maybe some red belts, some, uh, some, some diatonic scales to go with our pentatonic scale and all kind of cool stuff. Maybe some ukulele things for the fifth grade. So hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll find some ways for you to help make productive use of your time while we're away from school. Once again, I hope everybody stays healthy. Well, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get logged on. If you're on a school device, you'll probably find a quick link down here somewhere. And of course, just zap that and then you're good to go. Um, if you're not using a school device, if you're doing something from home, you'll just go up to your browser. You're gonna type www.quavermusic, Q-U-A-V-E-R-M-U-S-I-C.com, and that will take you to your homepage. Now, if you are in um, second through fifth grade, you've already set up an account, you've already signed in, you've already been working on this, so this should be uh, familiar. You're gonna go to the login tab, not the sign up. You're gonna go to the login tab, the green button. What? You click on that, and then you're gonna enter your Quaver name, you're gonna enter your password, and finally, the Quaver code. Now, this is the one that's gonna be important because when you enter the Quaver code, that will take you to your classroom, and every classroom has a different Quaver code, and we'll get to that in a little bit, but for the Quaver name, most of the accounts have been set up with just a combination of your first name and last name. Um, I think just about everybody has got their first initial followed by their last name. Um, for everybody, the password is just gonna be your student number. So if uh, we had to add a couple of zeros in there just to make sure that the field was long enough. So if your student number is one, two, three, four, your password is gonna be zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think the fifth graders or the fourth graders last year, they signed on with a different Quaver name. They would use the underscore last name, first name, the same way they sign into uh, their Chromebooks. So if you forget, or if you haven't logged in a while and you forgot your password, shoot me an email. I've got all that stuff and I can forward it to you. So once you get your username, what we call the Quaver name, and your password in there, um, you'll add the Quaver code. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'll show you a screen that's got all of the Quaver codes on it, and I'll include a PDF in the email, and then um, we'll, we'll see what each classroom has for their individual Quaver codes. So we're gonna click Enter, and for most of you, that's gonna be it. You're ready to go. Now, there are some issues with Flash, and uh, Quaver Music is getting rid of Flash in the next year or two, but until they do, you're gonna be prompted at the opening screen to say, do you want to run Flash or don't run Flash? Obviously, if you have a Flash-enabled device, you have it all loaded up. If you do that, it's gonna take you straight to Quaver Street. Um, most people, however, are gonna be moving without Adobe Flash. So, I'll show you how you toggle back and forth between that, but for a lot of you, your dashboard's gonna look like this. When you log in, this is what you're gonna see, something like this. And um, I'm gonna log in as a student in a minute so you can see exactly what that looks like, okay? But before we do that, what I do wanna do is go to the Quaver Codes so you can see what your Quaver Code's gonna be for your classroom. So, the Quaver Codes, are organized by grade and they're also organized by teacher. Now for the grades that combine classes, like for the first, second, and third grade, what I've done is basically just combine these into your A and B music classes. So if you go to music, let's say you're Mrs. Jones class and you go to music with Miss Williams, this is gonna be your Quaver code, N-Q-W-G-U. Now for the first graders, um, we've not used Quaver codes and haven't had you log in in the past, but we're doing it now um, just under the circumstances. So I have set up two classrooms for you and I will set up your Quaver Music accounts for you and this way you could just log in. So if you want to access Quaver Music at home, just shoot me an email, I'll set up your account. Um, please include and remember if you're in Miss Wagner and Papa George's classes, let me know. If you're in Miss Wagner's class and go to music with Miss Mullen, I'll need to be able to figure that out. So let me know which class you're in and when you go to music. So here you can see, 
the first grade classes, these are your quaver codes. And if it's hard to read right now, don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I got a screenshot of this that I'll um, download to a PDF and I'll include that so you'll be able to see all the different quaver codes. So once you're logged in, um, you're ready to go. And I'll be posting some more videos on how to get in and out of different apps and different fun stuff. But I do want to revisit the Flash page because I know that's a question that a lot of people have. So I'm using my son's Chromebook on this one. And so you'll be able to see how if you're using a school device um, and you want to unblock your Flash player and you want to be able to use Quaver Street and all that cool stuff, here's how you do it. So we're going to go to Quaver Music. I'm just going to type it in. Oops. And then here we are. Now this is already logged in, so I'm gonna log out. And I'm gonna log in as a student today. So what we're gonna do is, um, this is my setup dummy student account. <laughs> And what I'm gonna do is go up to settings and I'm going to block Quaver so you can see what that looks like. So under the settings tab, you're gonna go down to advanced. And right now you can see, um, you'll head over to the site settings tab and you are going to go to flash and click on that. Now, when it's blocked, it'll be like this, kind of white. If you wanna unblock it, it'll be blue. And if it is blocked, you'll see right up here, there'll be a little blue tab, or I'm sorry, like a little red square that'll say plug in block, and it'll ask you to manage your settings. You can just click on the manage button and it'll take you right to here. So you make sure that blue tab is set, and then I'll go back to my Quaver Music, and I'd be able to adjust the settings to allow for flash. So if I'm in Quaver Music without Flash, it's gonna look like this. It just takes you straight to that student dashboard. And if you are not running it, you can go back down here and click to access Quaver Music with Adobe Flash. And now that the sites have been disabled, or not disabled, but the blocking has been disabled, it will take me to Quaver Street. Okay, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, just shoot me an email. I'd be happy to answer any individual questions you have. And um, like I said, I'll be posting more content on here and get you up to date. Oh, hi, Link. There goes our cat. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll post some more stuff and some, uh, I'll, I'll show you around a little bit if you're not totally familiar with how to navigate Quaver World. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of really cool student actives. There's a lot of things that I think you're gonna enjoy. And like I said, it'll help pass the time and, and uh, make some good use of your music time. All right, you guys, take care and I'll be checking in just a little bit.